While living alone doesn't inevitably lead to senior loneliness, the two often go hand in hand. Hi, my name is Angelique Gaunt, and I'm the Director of Editorial Content at A Place for Mom. Here at A Place for Mom, we write content on senior isolation and how to prevent it because it can have quite a negative impact on a senior's health and overall well-being. A lot of seniors live alone, so it's really important to be aware of signs that loneliness is affecting a senior's health and have a good understanding of the different ways you can encourage aging loved ones to continue to create meaningful connections with others. We talk a little bit about senior isolation in our video on the top senior health tips, so feel free to check that out. And if you're interested in more advice on caregiving and senior care, go ahead and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every few weeks. Social isolation can have quite the negative impact on things like blood pressure and stress levels. Some studies even suggest it's as deadly as smoking or obesity. If you know a senior who lives alone, it's important to look out for common signs of loneliness, which include withdrawal, poor appetite or lack of eating, little interest in activities, a changing mood, and even clinginess. If you visit with a senior loved one and they have a hard time separating from you, when it's time to leave, it may be an indicator they are feeling lonely or isolated. And if you live far away from a parent, it's a good idea to enlist the help of their neighbors, friends, or a home care provider for updates on their well-being and to check whether they're engaged in pursuing activities they typically enjoy. If a loved one seems to be suffering from loneliness or isolation, you first want to evaluate whether or not this change may have been triggered by something specific. For example, it's common to grieve and experience changes in mood shortly after the loss of a spouse or a close friend. In that sort of scenario, the best thing you could do is support them throughout that process. But health changes like hearing loss, declining mobility, or memory loss can also lead to senior loneliness. So signs of loneliness may also be an indicator that it may be time to assess a loved one's health or speak to their doctor. One way you could assess a loved one's health is to use something like an activities of daily living checklist. Now, there are a few ways you could prevent or address social isolation. The first thing you can do to prevent isolation is to visit regularly or encourage visitors to stay for a while. You can reach out to a loved one's neighbors or maybe any local family and have them stop by for visits. Or if your loved one has home care, you can let the caregiver know you'd like them to stick around and provide some social time. In some situations, families even find a senior roommate for their loved one. The second thing you could try is to help your loved one explore new hobbies or interests. This could mean signing them up for volunteer opportunities or enrolling them in their local senior center. They can sign up for some really fun classes. I know of a few senior centers that have things like choir groups, art classes, and book clubs. This also gives them the chance to make new friends that they could connect with outside of the scheduled classes. Another way to combat social isolation is to get them a pet. This may not be the best option for everyone because pet care can take a lot of effort, and if your loved one struggles with mobility or other daily activities, adding a pet to the mix could do more harm than good. But if your loved one is largely independent, bringing a pet into the home can provide a lot of great companionship. Or if they love animals, you could also help them to volunteer at the local animal shelter. Another thing you can do is try counseling. These days, this can be done both in person and online, so this is a lot more accessible than it used to be. Speaking with a counselor can allow a senior experiencing loneliness to understand where those feelings are coming from, explore possible solutions, and determine if something deeper is going on that needs further evaluation. If you've tried some of these things and a loved one is still experiencing feelings of loneliness or isolation, it might be time to consider a senior living community. If you've been hesitant about bringing up senior living because your loved one is very independent and really doesn't need care, it's important to keep in mind that there are senior apartments and independent living communities that focus less on providing health care and focus more on just providing community for seniors. In these types of environments, seniors have their own apartments with maintenance provided, but can attend events and outings hosted by the community. Or if your loved one does need some assistance, assisted living can provide both. Keeping an eye out for signs of senior loneliness or isolation can help you determine the best course of action. I hope you found this video helpful, and don't forget, we have a lot of other helpful resources linked in the description. If you're interested in more senior care or caregiving advice, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and visit theplaceformom.com.